Listen up, man. Today, we got another ball vlog coming at you. That was a little dally walking in the background. We got another more vlog coming at you. Let's go ahead and get down to business. I'm going to take y'all with me today, see what we can get into. I mean, how much money can we spend? I mean, no, I won't make that a challenge. <laughs> All right, man, so look, we finally arrived here at Saks, you know, again, as we always do. Um, boom, you can see him in the background. And, uh, man, we're gonna have some fun today. I have an idea of what you want. Well, actually, you told me what you wanted to get, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And uh, we're gonna have some fun, man. I got the missus with me, but she's making me do all the work. She said, do your own stuff. And I said, okay, okay, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I guess let me show you what I got on feet, man. I guess that's what I didn't do last time. You guys want to know what I walk around with. Let me show you what I'm stomping in the deck. What's up, man? How was your day? Did you enjoy your day today? Mine just started. So, Are you spending any money today? I don't know. I did just get uh, right. some free money. Because <laughs> okay, I got strong armed out of my, uh, well, not really strong armed. Let me tell you our story. So, yesterday, um, I am Revenue Dynamic, aka Hook in the Verse, came past the crib because he was going on a trip. And he called me while he was in sacks, like, hey, what he called me on uh, Tuesday? He called me Tuesday while he was in sack. Like, look, man, I need something to pick up. I'm um, looking at the Creed boutique. What should I get? And I'm like, uh, get this, get that smell. Put your nose on these. And then he walked over to uh, Tom Ford because I'm like, look, man, smell uh, Reeve D'Ambre. You know, if you're going out to DR, you might want to smell tropical. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he put his nose on that and he liked it. But this essay here was like, um, you know, try it. Effing fabulous. She wouldn't say fucking fabulous for some reason. He's like, how you gonna sell me something if you don't even want to say the name of it? I said, look, man, don't buy it. I got some at the crib, and I also got this, um, you know, this knockoff, this clone from the house of Dua, and uh, I let him smell that one. And he came over to the crib, and while we were there, he's like, hey, man, let me smell that pineapple thing you was talking about. Now, pineapple vent is intense, is what we kind of got around to. Pineapple vent is intense. We talked about barnumandi.com. Long story short, he like, look, bro, I need to leave with this one. I'm like, really? You need to leave? He like, yeah, man. I'm like, look, man, we could just order you something and get it in. He like, it is not going to arrive in time. So I let him get it, and then he hit me off with a couple hundred dollars for it. So I'm like, yeah. So um, I don't know what to do, man. Do I need to buy another bottle of Pineapple Vintage Intense, or should I do something here? Either way, I got to get another bottle of Pineapple Vintage Intense because I like it a lot. All right, man, so let's go ahead and hop in here. They waiting on me, man. How are you? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Did my sister Ma come see you the other day? Yes, she good, did. Good. I was so happy. <laughs> She's such a nice lady. I said, and I said, I bet you I know. I said, I bet you I know who. Uh, you said you. <laughs> and I opened an account. Trying to learn Yeah, she, she's amazing. She's this one. Is that a Virginia? Yeah, it's a nice one. So we 
you want to give your thoughts on this one, that would be cool too. Yes, so this one is uh, an amazing fragrance. So this one is also, uh, if usually if you like a green Irish tweed, you might like original vetiver. They are still considered as an eau de perfume, even it says aqua original, but that they, they are not as intense as the, uh, the other three the fragrances that we have, yes. Alright guys, so when it comes down to Cree, at least in the fragrance community, original vetiver seems to get like a lot more shine, a lot more thought process. So you guys go out there and find that one a lot more than you do this one. But vetiver geranium, man, is a really dope vetiver fragrance. Good for spring, good for summer. Um, you heard Jay Copeland talk about this one. This one's nice. Um, it's different. It's still that vetiver, but it's not that dirty vetiver, right? This is a really clean vetiver. I enjoy this one a lot. Um, I actually need to add this one to my collection, but I believe I have a company sending me this one, so I'm gonna hold off on the purchase of this one, but this one is a dope fragrance. You guys definitely need to check this one out, and I'm sure you'll hear a lot more conversation um, as the spring and the summer approaches. And with that said, spring and summer videos coming out soon, man. Make sure you watch, because I'm putting in the work, man. When we uh, launch Aventus, we want to celebrate the power, the strength, and also the uh, of Napoli or Bonaparte. And Aventus in Latin means success. So this is a very success, very trendy, very unpredictable fragrance. This will last all day. You usually get a lot of compliments on wearing mm -hmm. them. So who doesn't want to be successful in life and wear Aventus? <laughs> Man, I mean, I couldn't say it better myself, man. I mean, I don't even need to do the video no more. <laughs> so that's why I did not know that Aventus meant um, success in Latin. That is actually very interesting to know. I don't think I've heard anybody talk about that one yet. So that's, she dropping gems, man. See, that's why you need to shop at sex. Because you can't get the same buying experience. You can't get the same knowledge when you go online, man. You come into sex, you know, spend some money, get the real deal, and you are going to be set, man. I come in sex all the time, man. So when I walk in here, they understand what it is. But make sure that when you go in, man, you make sure they know who you are. You know, speak, understand, get the knowledge of the fragrance behind it, and then spend your money, man. Make sure that you're doing this because it is all important if you want to, you know, dibble and dabble in the fragrance game. Like, I give you good knowledge, but again, they have that backstory as well. Like, I didn't know that, but you're watching, so now you know. started. Which scent is this so I can tell them? Uh, it is not a specific scent, but it's the vitamin E body scrub. Okay. But smell it, it's like delicious. This is dope. This is a vitamin E body scrub. What does it go for? Uh, this is 98 and we have a travel size for 35. 98 and 35, fellas. Step your game up, man. What are you doing? Are you using average soap? Right. Just rub it in? <laughs> yeah, Back do this. You know, and you can, like, before you go in the shower, it's good to do it outside the shower, then go in so you like don't lose it all. Mm. Right. You'll see a difference right away. Okay, and then you can shower here. Rinse it. Just like a regular rinse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and why don't we throw in a little manly English oak and red currant. Sometimes I go into an English accent because we're a London <laughs> company, I can't help myself, whatever. You can just change it to some other accent. <laughs> Is it relaxing to wash your hands in the middle of the day? It is, and this water is nice too. You, my wife, is it too warm? Oh, this she is. can have some water too. <laughs> this um, is like up your alley, man. This yeah, it doesn't hot. it? It's too hot? No, it's fine. It's okay. fine. But you want I'm a little sure. cool rim? No, it's fine. Look, right now you can see the glistening. Look how pretty. I mean, handsome. <laughs> yeah, the hands are. Because there's like emollients right in there, so even after you rinse, you're like, oh. It's like you, you thought you put lotion on, but you didn't. Yeah, this is... Feels good, doesn't it? It does. So. <laughs> wow, squeaky clean. Hear that? <laughs> Yay. Now, do you put cream on, or it gets on your nerves a little bit? No, I typically just... Um, to do a little spritz and go? Yeah, I do a little, like, light lotion. Oh, pomegranate water. I don't want it to, like, uh, interfere with the fragrances, so I okay. keep it... Like Neutral. Traditional, like unscented stuff. Okay. So, I just wash my hands. 
I will tell you all the time to wash your hands. I think we talked about that last time we were in sex to wash your hands. So make sure you guys. Yeah, and they say wash your hands with soap is more effective than the antibacterial because you don't break down the good bacteria. This is just part of the vitamin E line. You can just massage it if you just want a little something, but not to go greasy feeling on the palms. And a lot of athletes want to put something on, you know, our golf players, our tennis players, but they don't want to feel any slip. So you just put a little bit on, it's neutral, and now you can put on one of the manly scents you want to. <laughs> what I like about Joe Malone fragrances is they're so light. Like they, uh -huh. they're not super heavy, you can wear them in uh -huh. spring, summer. Yeah. And you find when you wear it that people don't say, oh my god, what are you wearing? It's hurting my eyes, right. my sinus. Yeah, so it's, it's very, it's um, people friendly and it's very considerate. Yes. Yeah. 154, something like that. Oh, the classic. Yeah. You know the. And do you want to put a little on or just want um, me to spritz no, it yeah, for you, you for a reminder? Okay. Else. This is kind of eclectic, but um, it's sexy. Women like it too. You know, we're a unisex line, but you know, some yeah. might be a little more popular. A few of my uh, subscribers told me I need to try this one out. Yeah, to beer. And Jo Malone actually, back in the day, made this for her husband. And 154 was the address of her. Address? Yeah. Her address of her shop. Exactly. I don't know what happened. In one week, I sold this to three different baseball players, and I'm like, what's up with this? Some, you know, I know how they get. Um, Superstitious, like oh, I gotta have my red yeah, yeah, sock. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, is this the new superstition or something? What's going on? But it's it's a sexy male one. It's mystical. It's oh, magical. Like it's sensual. Yeah, I do like this. One. But it's not like in your face. But I don't know. Whatever your opinion. I think I want to get that. One. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to get this one. This is oud and bergamot. I'm gonna pick this one up. I know a lot of you guys out there are familiar with this one, but we have not did a deep dive into the channel yet. So I will grab this one. Man, you guys know how I do. I just buy them and eventually I wear them again. <laughs> One of the executives said, oh yeah, you guys are twins. Oh, Mike, beautiful. Thank you. Alright Kevin, you on speaker man. What can you say to the people? What's going on? What's going on? Thank you. Thanks. I'm saying I'm looking good. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can, I don't know if y'all can fully hear him, but this is the one and only Kevin Samuels with Fashion Meets Fragrance. He's on the line right now. We just talking fragrance stuff as we always do, you know, putting plays and things together, man. Yeah, but listen, I'm gonna call you back when we're done, and we're gonna go ahead and chop it up, man. All right, cool. All right, guys. So as per usual, I cannot come into a sex. Anyway, that sells killing without getting my nose on killing. You guys understand how I feel about killing killing, man. If you listen, Mr. Killing Hennessy, if you are listening, come holler at me, boy, man. You know, I need to come to some events. You know, we need to work on the fragrance. We need to work on White Phantom. You know, uh, Manny gave me that idea, White Phantom. White Phantom is what we need for people in Florida and tropical weather. You know, come get me. Come get me. You need me. You need my nose so we can make it happen. Yeah, so these are the two newest additions to um, Killing. You have Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme and Straight to Heaven Extreme. Now, as I just talked about maybe a few weeks ago at this point, I'm not sure when this video launches, but I actually just did a video talking about Straight to Heaven, how I wasn't a fan of that one, but Straight to Heaven Extreme, I do like. Um, they just amped it up a bit more made it a bit more aggressive and I do like that one. Good Girl Gone Bad is always a dope fragrance so the extreme version is even, even better. So I had um, Hook on a Verse Dynamic aka Revenue over the crib. Again, he was planning a trip to DR and I told him to come and check out Killian since he was here. And one of the things that he did, we checked out Water Calligraphy and he checked out Sacred Wood. He liked them both. I told him to go with Sacred Wood a bit more because I feel it was a bit more powerful, it was a bit more unique, and overall I just like the scent more. Really nice fragrance. Um, you got that sandalwood, the cedar. It's really nice, man. Um, what I did tell him though is that this one is one that I'm going to be adding to the collection real soon. Uh, I need to get it like now, man. This one needs to get into collection like ASAP because 
I need it. Like, I, I seen Manny, he did a video on it. I think he did it. Uh, that reconfirmed it that I needed it in collection. I smelled it a number of times. And if you guys are just getting into Killian, then this is one that you want to get your nose on. Some of the more popular ones, obviously, are Back to Black, um, Black Phantom, Cruel Intentions. Ooh. Um, but to me, those are darker fragrances. Um, they're not set for all year round. And if you aren't like totally in love with you know dark fragrances, you know those gourmand vibes, then you might want to start with something like Sacred Wood or Bamboo Harmony or even Water Calligraphy. One of the things I wanted to call out because you guys always give me hell for not breaking the Killian boxes, right? So one thing that you guys have to understand that when you're buying Killian, you start like three different sizes, right? And it's not your traditional sizes. So you have something like this. So let's say um, we're doing Black Phantom, for instance. Black Phantom is $2.95 roughly, and I think this one is $1.75. So if you don't get the coffin like I show you guys, you get this, right? So this one is like $1.75, all right? And then for the next size, you're paying an extra 100 bucks for the box. So that's why you don't break that coffin, all right? The coffin, you don't break it. Then the next size is 22 ounce, which depending on which fragrance you get, that's like $4,000 or so. Um, so that's the explanation. So you guys never see this on the channel because I never buy them this way. But you got the uh, travel size or the refill size is what they call it. And then you have the standard and you also have the 22 ounce. So that's the reason why we talk like that. We don't break them because you pay extra hundred dollars and who wants, I mean, I guess someone would like this, but that's not how I rock. And this is actually a good one though. It's nice and heavy, but I like the, the big boy, you know, I need the big boy status, baby. As you know, I've done the review on Tom Ford's newest release. I was vowed not to say the name in here, but effing fabulous. You guys are aware of it. You guys know how I feel about it. But it is now available in Saks. As you guys know, it was an exclusive for a while, but this is going to be a limited edition, just as we thought. So Saks, once it gets finished with their second run, then it will not be able to be purchased. So if you guys haven't got your nose on it yet, make sure that you at least go and check it out. I know you guys seen the reviews on it, but at least go check it out. See if it's something that you do want if you do want it you have to make the purchase and pull the trigger fast because after it's gone it's gone so you guys know that I am in Sarasota this is the UTC mall the University Town Center mall and this is sex man this is the only sex in the area you come in here you check it out man they got it right here right in the middle <clears throat> So this is a first take, my first impressions on Forenza Schooler. This is exclusive to Saks for nine months. Actually, I like this. This is something that my wife will wear. This is a women's based fragrance. Sweet, it's floral and fruity at the same time. I can smell it all. I you, can, it. you can smell it? This is something that she will wear all day. Like, um, So some of her darker fragrances, let's say like a, like a Tom Ford Velvet Orchid similar but lighter this is a dope fragrance so if you guys are looking for this this is exclusive to sax for nine months i'm not sure the price point yet i'm gonna get the price point i'm gonna link it down below for you guys because mother's day is coming up man mother's day is what's next month i don't know may april april may i'm not sure what mother's day is but it's coming up and i know that you guys might want to go out and get this for your lady this is a dope fragrance We have the Lancome exclusive line here. Only 17 sacks in the entire United States have this one. Now, listen, Lancome hasn't typically been known for like producing great quality fragrances, but these here, man, are extremely dope. In their collection, they have eight different perfumers that they put together to create this line. And from my personal opinion, man, these ones are dope. I was impressed on the first, you know, smelling of these. Um, my personal favorite so far, though, I gotta get the name of it, is Oud Amber, is it Amber Rose? <laughs> Oud Amber Rose. Listen, no relation to Amber Rose, I'm pretty sure, but that is a really dope fragrance. Only 17 stores have it. This one here at the University Town Center. This sax has it. Come in, pay them a visit, man. They got it right here on the end. It's a beautiful display. The bottles are nice too, man. Next, only thing they need in there, little flakes of gold, and then 
<laughs> then they winning, baby. <laughs> but guys, make sure to get your nose on and check it out. Really dope. Again, Mother's Day coming up, man. These are more of a feminine-based fragrances, so make sure you get in. Get your nose on it. Get your wife something. Get your old lady something. Get your, get your side chick something. I mean, <laughs> whatever you got, man. Come in here and make sure you check it out. Get your nose on it. They dope. Big beer, be approved. Weekly fragrance rotation video coming. I'm not sure when this was going to come up, but my scent of the day today is Dubai Gold. I have Dubai Gold on today. Today is a, a little more chilly, a little cooler than it typically is for Florida, especially at this time of the year. So Dubai Gold is what I bust out today. I don't have a full bottle, but as you guys know, this is one of the ones that I wanted to buy um, in my winter list. Like, hey, this is one of the ones that I got to have. You know what I'm saying? So this one here, I have a decant of it, a little small one made by Saks and uh, so Bon number nine Dubai Gold is my scent of the day. Hello Sean, you are the winner of the House of Trees so you are getting an amazing Aventus for, Aventus for you. My name is Marie and I'm the ambassador of the House of Creed in Sykes, Sarasota. So congratulations again. You're going to love and enjoy. You're going to have so many compliments. You will be successful in everything you do wearing Aventus. So thank you again so much. Congratulations. All right, guys. So again, man, thank you guys all for tuning in and rocking with your boy. And a special, 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 very special shout out to Sex in the University Town Center Mall, man. So look, you know, initially, Initially, we talked about them sponsoring the video. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen, but they actually sponsored the video. They provided this bottle and, you know, they're always just laying down cool stuff, man. So come in, make sure you check them out. If you're in the area, man, you're local, you're in Tampa, come on down. You know, if you're in Miami, drive on up. I know you got sex there, but you need to check out this sex. Only 17 stores in the entire country got some of these things that they have here, man. We'll be back. We'll be doing more. I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend, and we are back again. Hit the goddamn bell.